Caillou, I am going to Costco so I can meet Barney behind the store for some LSD, and you're coming with me because you can't be trusted by yourself in the house. Oh come on, why do I always have to tag along with you on your stupid drug deals? All I did the last time you left me here was pull a little prank on Rosie. Caillou, putting C4 in someone's pillow and detonating it while they're asleep is murder, not a prank. It took over a week to get all the blood stains and chunks of flesh cleaned up and your mother is still in therapy after seeing that one. You just don't know the ways of the prankster. As long as you say it's just a prank bro after, you can do anything. Besides, Rosie just respond anyway like all go animate characters. Hey guys, what's going on? Rosie, can you turn the lamp on for me? Huh, okay. Don't tell me you planned it. another one I didn't know about. That's it. I can't believe you did it again. You know what Caillou, I was going to give you the luxury of riding in the back seat of the car, but now you have to ride in the trunk. Whatever, this is fine. I don't really care either way. Oh, I forgot to tell you I have a really bad exhaust leak right below the trunk, so have fun suffocating. What? Dad, I'm freaking suffocating. I literally can't breathe. Get me out of here. Huh? That's a weird noise. Oh well, I'll just blast some death metal to drown it out. Oopsie, looks like he passed out. Well, that's fine. I'll just leave him in there while I go by the LSD. Ugh, that's right. I'm trapped in the back of Dad's car with a bunch of exhaust fumes. Seems like he stopped the car. I wonder if we're here and he just planned to leave me in here the whole time. I hope not, because I seriously think I'm going to die if I don't get out of here soon. Wait a second. I think that's a lever for opening the trunk from the inside. I can't believe I didn't see that earlier. Well, sure enough, we're at Costco. I think I'll run inside real quick and try to shoplift something as an early Christmas present to myself. Whoa, sweet. A PS5 and a TV all in one package. I'm so sneaking this out. Hey kid, you need to pay for that. Pay for what? Seriously? the TV and PS5 you're carrying. I'm not carrying anything. I think you're just hallucinating. It's probably that you want a PS5 so bad that you're starting to see things. Kind of like when you get a mirage of an oasis when you're dehydrated in the desert. Man, you're probably right. Sorry for bothering you. Hey, the kid didn't pay for the PS5. Hey. Let me go. There's no PS5. You're just seeing things. Oh, so that bald piece of trash decided to shoplift, huh? That explains why he's not in the trunk anymore. What on earth is going on here? Is this your son, sir? To my dismay, yes. He was just caught trying to shoplift this PS5 TV combo. Oh man, that's horrible. Follow me, Caillou. Hey, get back here right now. Holy crap, Dad. That was awesome. Thank you so much for stealing that PS5 for me. I didn't get it for you, idiot. I got it for me. If you so much as think about playing on it. You are going to get the most brutal punishment day of your life consisting of over 100 punishments. Also, how dare you try to shoplift something from Costco. We are pulling into this McDonald's right now so I can set up your punishment for doing so. But you literally just shoplifted as well. I don't care. You must do as I say, not as I do. What is this stupid punishment gonna be anyway? I am going to tie you to the underside of the car and we're gonna drive all the way home like that. What? That's freaking crazy. Please untie me. Nope. Time to start driving. 
Oh no 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 no. Why love 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 every bump we had is causing the road to shave off a little bit of my skin. Sir, your car is leaking a lot of fluid. Oh, that's not from the car. It's just Caillou's blood. Oh, okay. Yeah! Well, I hope you learn your lesson, you piece of crap. Anyway, time to go in and play on my new PS5. Woohoo! Wow, that freaking hurt like hell. And Dad is claiming the new PS5 that he wouldn't even have if I didn't steal it first. What absolute bullcrap, I am so plotting something against that mother bleeper. He sure has it coming. Let's see, let's see, what can I do? Well, he always goes Christmas present shopping at the last possible minute, and since it's still two days before Christmas, I'm sure he hasn't yet. I think I'm going to secretly follow him to whatever store he's going to, blow the place up with my leftover C4, and hopefully kill him in either the explosion or the falling rubble. Then, Justice will be served and I'll hide the PS5 all to myself. Ha 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 ha. Man, this PS5 is the best. All this murdering people in GTA 5 makes me look forward to Caillou's next punishment day. I hope he does something bad soon. Wait, I get the feeling there's something else I should be doing right now. What could it be? Crap, I still need to get Christmas presents for everyone. Ugh, I should have just bought them while I was at Costco getting the LSD. Well, guess I might as well go there again. Alright then, sounds like he's going to Costco. That'll be great since I'll also be getting revenge on those security guards for beating me up. What? Caillou, have you forgotten that I'm right here? I swear, you would get away with so much more if you weren't always monologuing out loud like an idiot. Oh yeah? Well guess what, there's more C4 in the cushion you're sitting on, and if you get up to try and stop me, it will instantly detonate and blow you up. That's fine, I'll just use my phone to call board. A sensor will detect the phone call and blow you up as well. You have no choice but to just sit here and let me do what I'm going to do. Okay okay, fine. I give up. Good, ha ha. There's nothing like brainwashing your entire family to be paranoid that you could be hiding C4 anywhere and able to blow them up at any moment. Now time to get the rest of this C4 and get an Uber to Costco. The. Frick. Are. You. Alive? Because I'm the ultimate grounder and nothing is going to stop me from grounding you. Car, you how freaking very blow up cost. That's it. You are so well, well, well grounded, 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 grounded for one seven eight two three seven eight four three seven eight five four seven eight four three seven eight two seven eight three two three seven eight four two three one three years and. Today is punishment day. Get in the car right freaking now and let's go home and get started with the punishments. Doris, guess what? Caillou just completely blew up and demolished Costco. 
Apparently to try and kill me as revenge for not letting him use the PS5 he stole. Oh no. He mentioned doing something for revenge, but I had no idea it was going to be that bad. Wait, if he said he was going to do something, why didn't you stop him? Because he says there's C4 in the cushion I'm sitting on, and it'll blow up if I either get up or try to use my phone. I see. Well, that's bullcrap on his part. After he blew up Rosie for the second time, I checked everywhere in the house for more C4, including that cushion, and there was none. Wait, seriously? Oh my freaking god. Caillou, how dare you lie to me like that? I think that in the fact that you blew up Costco warrants another punishment day. Yep, I already told him it was punishment day before I drove him back here. Let's get this party started. First punishment. Drinking expired eggnog while watching cringe Christmas movies for three hours. No, 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 no. Just drinking an expired eggnog alone is punishment enough. We don't care. Get drinking now or we'll freaking shoot you to death. Two hours later. Ah, this is my 50th cup of eggnog. I can't stop throwing up. Please don't make me drink anymore. It's either you drink more or you get your head blown off. Well, that concludes the first punishment. Now on to the next one. Your next punishment is eating all of the coal in this bag. Fine, screw it. Nothing can be more disgusting than that eggnog anyway. Uh, uh, it tastes so freaking bad and I can't swallow it. Force yourself to swallow it now or there will be additional punishments. <coughs> Third punishment, taking an icy shower. And what'll happen if I don't? Then we will replace the water with liquid nitrogen, and you'll probably end up dying from the extreme cold. Ugh, fine. Fourth punishment, concussion time. Hey, concussion time belongs to Fred. Why yes, yes it does. Fifth punishment, letting me destroy your room with an RPG. Oh no 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 no. What the fuck? <laughs> what, uh, uh. Sixth punishment being locked in the basement while listening to loud Christmas songs for one hour. Please don't do this to me. Okay, time for the next punishment. What? Forget it. Seventh punishment, getting taste. Eighth punishment, drinking toxic waste. Oh frick no, that looks so disgusting and I'll probably die if I drink it. What even is it anyway? Don't know, don't care. Now get drinking or there will be ten more punishments. Ugh, fine. <laughs> Ninth punishment, embarrassing you on TikTok. What are you going to do to embarrass me? Just posting you on your own is embarrassing enough. Look at that shiny bald head. Your foreign still haven't grown any hair. You look like a freak with an egg for a head. Oh! Wow Boris, look. There's already tons of people roasting him. Tenth and final punishment, getting cremated alive. No 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 Please don't incinerate me. Get in the oven now or there will be 10 more punishments and it'll still end with this. <laughs> Woohoo, he's dead.